The disc cover has 13 millimeter bolts. I went ahead and left one on the top so I could drain it. And then I'm gonna need to remove the drive shaft. The little uh, bands that hold the U-joints on there, those bolts are eight millimeter. Get these little tiny wrench. And you're gonna go ahead and pull the pin out of the carrier that holds the, uh, the, uh, the axles in place and it uses a little bolt. And then the pin will just slide right out. Off your drums, and what you're going to end up doing after you get your drums off, you're going to push the axles inward, and uh, what that will do, they'll take the tension off the C clips that are in there. And you can just fish those out with a magnet. And then the axle will just pull it right out. So to pull the old wheel bearings out, I ended up using a little special tool. Uh, it has a an adapter that you know goes in and it clamps onto the wheel bearing like that. And then you actually use a slide hammer to just yank that guy out. That's the easiest way to pull bearings out of an axle. I've seen guys like use crowbars and pry bars and all kinds of crazy stuff, but. This is the correct way of doing it. And usually when you buy a slide hammer, uh, it comes with some like hook adapters, but it won't come with that little special adapter just for pulling a, um, wheel bearings. New bearings. So these are you calling bearings? The, the you put a little oil on them. Yeah, you axles going in. And you're gonna need your seal tool or seal driving tool. Bearing driving tool. You just hammer it in there, and you'll, you'll notice that the tone will sound different once it gets all the way back where it's supposed to be. It's always good to put a little bit of oil, a little bit of gear oil, right down there on the, uh, the seal itself. You don't want to stick them, stick them together, stick everything together dry. So. And uh, that's uh, my brand new Yukon axle. Got a good, really good deal on them. Uh, these C-clip style axles like to, like to break, your wheels like to fall off. So. I really didn't want that to happen. So, some, some stronger axles. And uh, the axles, they don't come with the uh, the studs, so you have to buy the studs separate. 
go ahead and uh, you know push the uh, axle in all the way then you're gonna put the c-clip back in then you're gonna need to push the axle back out now we'll hold the c-clip in And I'm using a lube blocker uh, a gasket right there. I'm taking that thing probably off at least four or five times already, and uh, it's never leaked on me, so this thing is definitely fine. A little bit of ADW90 with some limited slow additive. 